Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneSkill and today I will show you how you can create this awesome slide design, the grid. And it looks something like this, you have perfect rectangles that you can fill with pictures or you can fill them with icons and some text boxes. And it looks just wonderful. And I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself under 5 minutes. And if you're wondering where did I get, you know, inspiration for this kind of uh, slide layout, I was just browsing through SlideCow uh, website. SlideCow has awesome PowerPoint templates. This one is called Business Casual PowerPoint Template. And I was just looking through the slide and, you know, I stumbled upon this uh, grid slide layout. And I thought to myself, Man, it would be really awesome to show every one of you guys how you could uh, create it yourself. And I'm sure uh, SlideCow doesn't mind. <laughs> we will use, uh, you know, this uh, slide as an example. So let me just copy it, this uh, small picture. And let's open up a fresh a new presentation. Let's select a fresh uh, blank layout. Let's copy the picture. Let me actually activate the key cast though. So you know you can see all of the all of the keys that I'm pressing here at the top. Uh, I mean at the bottom left uh, corner of the slide. Let's actually increase uh, this uh, original uh, layout by slide, slide count. As you can see the image is blurred a little bit but don't worry. All we need is just to, you know, get a feeling of how it looks like. And now we insert a fresh new slide. So all we have to do is uh, first we have to understand how this grid is constructed. So as you can see, we have uh, six uh, rectangles at the uh, top row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and six at the bottom. So we can, you know, as well, you can see these two lines. These are called uh, guides. So you can find them on the view tab and just click on guides if you want to have them. I think they really help to, you know, with this particular grid. So now all we have to do, just go to insert, click on shapes and choose rectangle. And while holding down the shift key, just drag the rectangle, you know, to any size that you like. And I did find out that five, centimeters is you know perfect for this for this example and now we can actually make the fill a little bit transparent it will be easier to see where are the edges and for the outline we can make it a little bit uh, thicker something like this and now all we have to do is create six rectangles at the top and six at the bottom so i have done the first one ctrl d to duplicate so i stick it attach it to the left side duplicate once again okay now let's do on the right side now let's do here at the bottom make sure that your rectangles are touching perfectly because otherwise you will end up with some, you know, gaps between uh, between the rectangles. Okay, so we are done with the rectangles. And now just to check with the original design, as you can see, this rectangle, this, 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 and these two are filled with images. So let's select all of these uh, rectangles, which will be filled with images and let's change, <laughs> let's change their color a little bit. Okay. Now we can actually select all of these uh, rectangles and copy them. Ctrl C. Let's go to slide master. Let's scroll to the top, insert a new uh, layout. Ctrl A to select everything and delete because we just need a fresh, fresh slide. Ctrl V to paste the rectangles. And now what we will do, we will insert uh, picture placeholders for each of these yellow rectangles. So just click on insert placeholder, click picture. Uh, again, while holding down the shift key, 
make it five by five you can adjust you know here the size of the rectangle and now all you have to do is align this uh, picture placeholder with this yellow rectangle align to left align to top now I will just duplicate this image placeholder and I will align it to the rest of the yellow rectangles okay so now we are completed with the image placeholders and we can delete rectangles because we will edit them you know in the normal view not in the slide master and to delete these uh, yellow rectangles we first have to select all of the image placeholders and send them to back because now they're on top so send them to back okay and now we can delete these yellow rectangles beautiful so now we have our slide layout completed we close the slide master view and now we can on this slide we can actually delete these yellow rectangles and let's select this uh, just click on layout and let's select this layout that we just have created beautiful so these will be the rectangles that can be filled with photos so there is a button pictures so click on it and you can fill it with any picture that you like so let's just grab some business pictures i found these uh, pictures on unsplash.com so check it out it's a wonderful website full of beautiful free pictures okay wonderful now we can actually select everything let's uh, remove the outlines okay let's select our uh, blue rectangles let's set back the opacity to normal so i mean they are not transparent wonderful so we're basically completed with our grid layout and now we can go to you know designing the slide according to the colors that we want adding some icons adding some some text boxes so first of all let's uh, set the background of the slide to something like this maybe dark black color okay i think we can uh, deactivate the guides uh, for now it's okay now we can actually copy this uh, nice red color let me actually copy this picture paste it here let me just uh, resize it so it's a little bit smaller and now for this uh, rectangle let's go to format shape fill let's grab the eyedropper tool and let's just you know copy this color wonderful oops let's delete this picture and now i can copy the style of this rectangle by holding down ctrl shift and c and now i will select this rectangle this one and ctrl shift v to paste the style beautiful and for these bottom rectangles i just filled them with a white color as we have in the original design beautiful so now what we can do we can you know add some as i can see we have some icons and some smaller text and some and some text again so to save some time i'll just go to insert and find an icon that it is you know provided by powerpoint let me just go to business let's select this one hit insert so you can see it is black so let me just go to graphics fill choose white color okay now you can drag the corner of the icon and you know adjust the size according to taste now let's insert a text box let's type uh, icon let's make sure our text is white so that we can see our text let's set the font to lato black 
and let's add some spacing between the letters. Let's make font size 20. Okay, let's duplicate it. And this will be a text box for some smaller text, so we can leave it just letter font size maybe 15. Spacing normal. And let's type in something like insert your awesome text in here let's center all of the text uh, let's actually maybe make it let the light so it's a little bit thinner let me zoom in Decrease the size maybe to 14. Yeah, something like this. Uh, we can actually select this text box, this one, and our icon. Let's make sure that everything is centered nicely. Okay, we can hit uh, Ctrl G to group everything. So, you know, all of the, these three objects are one group. And yeah, this way we can duplicate and paste this uh, you know stuff to the rest of the red red rectangles of course you have to change the icons and the text according according to what you're doing let's duplicate it once again and let's uh, you know change the colors so that we can put it on the on the white rectangle so I'll just set the icon color and the text color to this uh, red color that we have uh, copied. And let's paste it on the white rectangles. By the way, you know, turn on your favorite music in the background <laughs> because I'm not using any music for this video so that you can play your favorite music. Yes, and for the top, let's insert a text box here. You can actually copy this text box, Ctrl C, paste it here. Let's bring it over here. Let's type in the grid. You can increase the size to maybe 40. Let's change this uh, color to red. So yeah, we can leave it like this, or we can use, you know, a different font, maybe. Yeah, or maybe something like this, Baba's Noah book. Yeah, looks, looks awesome. And here at the bottom, we have a text box as well. So let's just, uh, Copy this text box. Let's uh, center it. Let's find some text. I think we have something over here. The business casual PowerPoint template for creative types. Okay, let's copy this text. Let's paste it over here. Let's make sure we paste only values, okay. We can, you know, make this text box a little bit wider. Again, let's uh, align it to the center. And voila, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, check it out on the full screen. So this is what we have done. And this is the original. So I think we did a pretty good job, you know, by, you know, maintaining the same emotion, the same style as in the original slide layout by SlideCow. So yeah, I think this grid, grid layout looks really attractive, really awesome. And you can use this kind of slide layout for many different purposes, for, you know, listing your services, for listing your products or some kind of features. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, 
please write them write them down <laughs> in the comments section below and i will do my best to answer all of your questions and see you on my next video